Good morning, guys. Hope you're having a good weekend. Uh, today, I'd like to talk to you about hiring smart people. They do say a smart person hires someone smarter than themselves. Now, it might sound a little bit odd, but it's true. You can't be good at everything. So, for example, I can't build websites, but websites is uh, a necessity uh, to my business. So I need to provide high converting websites. So I have a good team that build them for me. Same with the with the SEO. I've got a team building links on a daily basis. Um, that's not so difficult. Um, it's just um, it's very time consuming. But the idea is, is concentrate on what you're good at and hire other people to do the same. I see a lot of businesses struggle because they're trying to do everything themselves. Now, and usually the, the smarter people are, they want to do everything themselves, but it, it, it stops them from growing. Um, and yeah, there's so much to do and you've got to be you're very, very, very uh, committed. And um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's the way that some people do it, but uh, it's better to hire someone to do, to do it better. So, so, the, so the basic steps of, of building a business and making money, and as a lot of you guys will know that I do a lot of work with carpet cleaning companies. So it's a niche that, that I've uh, been concentrating on and been getting some really good results. So what I would say to you is, first of all, you've got to build your brand. You've got to build it around your target audience. And what I mean by that is going to understand who your customer is and focus, focus on, on your customers. So if you're just doing cheap in and out carpets, um, then fine, uh, nothing wrong with that. And you can do you know five, six, seven in a day, earn a good living, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to have the higher spending customers, then you, your image needs to be a little bit different. So, so for example, is if you've got crappy pictures on your website, is you ain't gonna get the top dollar customers. So decide what your market or your target audience is. And that can change as you grow your business and you grow in confidence. You might think, well, I don't wanna do five carpets a day for 30 pounds. You might say, right, well, you know, we wanna do 120 pounds, 150 pound packages. So, so where you start is, is not where you end up. Um, so, as I always say to my clients, is start now, get perfect later. So there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, starting out with a, you know, a cheap uh, website, a one-page website. But as you grow, then you do need to up, up your game. Also, you need a, an ongoing strategy to um, to build your business. So that's that's building building links, SEO. Um, what I find is that um, yes. You want to get the phone to ring now. We, we've got strategies, things in place. We can get the phone ringing in a couple of days um, without a website. So that can happen. But is you've got to look at where you want to be in a year, two, three years time. So, so the, the building of, of your brand and building the, the links to get you to the top of Google. I mean, there's a lot of people that have been at this game, you know, quite a few years and they're just at the top of Google and they, uh, they, they just get recommendations, they're at the top uh, and it works for them. So, uh, so you need a bit of a mix. So you need instant calls, but also you need to build on, on your business. And also you've got to understand that marketing changes all the time. So how things were 10 years ago are different to now. F F Facebook's a, a perfect example. Facebook is still good. It still works, but it, it's not the effective strategy it once was. So whereas now, if you put a post on your on your Facebook page, it's going to get to one percent. So so you know, you've got to do a lot of a lot of posts, and you oh, you've got to have a lot of people on your website, and then so I'm oh, sorry on your Facebook page, but then the chances are the people that do see it are going to be friends and family, which are already sold to anyway. Also as well. Many moons ago, and I say many moons ago, sort of 10 years, 10 years ago, when websites were a big thing, brochure websites were the what people wanted and what they needed. It was like, wow, we, people don't need to come to our showroom now. So we'll just we'll have the showroom online. So brochure websites, very, 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 very big at the time. But that's all changed now. 
So it's 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 more on high converting websites, and uh, it, it's interesting. I I was I was chatting with the with a guy yesterday, who's had a, a, a presentation from a big agency, and it, it didn't show me the numbers, but uh, you know it's it's not uh, it's not rocket science. A big big agency, big offices, big teams um, that, that needs a lot of money. So you can you could spend sort of five to ten grand. On an all singing website and he actually sent me the proposal and on that proposal he, there were some links with other companies and I actually looked at the website and they're not high converting yes they're all singing all dancing and they look amazing but today it's all about getting the phone call and that's what we do oh and just out of interest is on this all singing all dancing five ten grand website the the actual images weren't tagged for seo so there was an image of um, uh, let's well it, it was a double glazing company I, um, I can't really hide that but th there was an image of a conservatory and um, the, uh, the the image was labelled double O X Y Z P N G whereas it should be conservatory or, or it should be or if you if you're focusing on the area conservatory installations leads or or there there or thereabouts so what I would say to you is if you're building your business, don't be afraid to ask questions. If you don't know the answer, ask questions. Now, it's quite easy. You can ask Google, you can ask YouTube, or you can ask me. So it doesn't matter if you're a paying client or not, I'm quite happy to answer your question because what I find is that in, in the long term, people like to come back to me. So it doesn't matter if you work with me now or later or never, I'm always happy to help. So have a great day. And if you, uh, if you need any help, then please do get in touch. All the best. Bye.